but I need to heal. So I'm going to down the greater healing potion I have. Okay. 3d8 plus 5 plus 2d8. 25 hit points, 29. That's not terrible. 5 out of 9 recoveries. Anything you want to do with your move or quick action? Um, I have nothing to do with my move or quick action. Okay. The creature Could is dead. Go ahead. You... Couldn't you move over to me and then heal me or something like that? No, I don't have my heal anymore. Oh, all right. I guess I maybe like force feed him a healing potion. Stick in a throw. You even have one. That's uh. You're technically. Mm. Yeah, like that. You could force feed him a healing potion. He would be at you healing his half health. Dark. If you wanted to try and disengage and leave Tempest. Not at the moment. No. Okay. Uh, the warp beast uh, engaged with Thomas uh, lashes out with her tentacle maw and will miss, triggering a psychic blast attack. Oh, damn. Against. We'll just say that, uh. Well. Yeah, let's do it against Thomas. He does have that vulnerability. No, not a vulnerability thing. Oh, it's just vulnerable. Uncle. Yep, he's just ongoing. 14 versus mental defense oh, is a miss. miss. Would have hit Tempest nice. if she had prioritized, but uh, she did not. She will remain in this position. Thomas, your turn. Okay, let, let's see if we can... Ask her just, a question? Yes, let, let's ask her a question. That is enough to hit. She is barely yes. clinging to existence. And I get my points. Another I am oh, I, over here. Just... I know, but you're not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, I get my points. I five don't have any five I'm going, yes, and the save for that. But you could yes. move over here it's and then bring and me up save, on my turn, right? Your saves are a minus two, remember. Yes. I, I can still get you up without moving. Alright. Okay, safe. This will be at a minus two. That's the no. And that was against the ongoing? No. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and the, and the, the minus two. Okay. There we no. go. Nope. Okay. In this warp beast turn, it will attempt to well, I mean, there's that guy. No, I'm pretty committed to attacking this guy this turn. Okay. Let's He's go ahead and try one. to bite Leon. That is... That is 32 damage. I'm out. These mm. fucking 20s this session. Holy shit. From yeah, all of us. Yeah, 32 damage. I am out of the picture. As the amorphous beast leaps onto Leon and begins ravaging it viciously with its crooked, bent teeth. It will uh, use its move action to slide on over to Tempest. Dwo Hiram, second death save. I mean, I, I could get you up now, but I could also get up Leon, who is slightly more useful at this point, I think. I mean, how much, stuff, how much stuff does Dohirum have left to fire becomes the question. Magic Missile! <laughs> yeah. What is he doing? Well, Dohirum also has the escape route if you want to try to escape. We don't need to escape. <laughs> the, hope was, the, the, the hope was that I could Magic Missile the Warp Beast up there because she was barely standing. Um, and that would kill, it makes that sense to get Leon throw. back up, of course. I think it does. I mean, I'll get you up the like, round like, after. You won't die on us. I, I promise you. I'll shout at you. What, what if you, you get knocked lying. down, though? Then I'm screwed. This oh. way, I could teleport out. Be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think well, waiting until it, it's Leon's your, turn It's is, your choice. Yeah, All right. I'll wait. All right, All right I'll go my death save, save then. Roll the 20. Just come on. That is a failure. One point I shy. Won. That is two failed death saves. Fuck you, Creel. Bro, <laughs> the rules. It's your fault. <laughs> Creel takes a free action to try and think about regret. Uh, Warp Beast engaged with Tempest. Uh, will attempt to strike down Tempest. And hit. 16 down. points of damage. I mean, uh, I no, no, no. My momentum to half it to 8, so I'm at 2. Okay, that's fair. You have your <laughs> momentum. <laughs> Alright. She's really going to be the last man standing here, right? And uh, it you will, know, and, and that's how I like it. It will not move. <laughs> this beast uh, will. Because if that thing misses or hits, look at Tempest, so heavily injured, and attempt to hit and miss. 
No, uh, no. Yeah, because I'll use my ring, yeah. so yeah. cling. Yes, that'll take your AC back up to 19, which is enough to miss. Okay, so it'll Why? use... It's, uh, we'll handle its psychic blast first. Let's see how many enemies it can hit with that. That is one enemy. It's targeting... Right. It's targeting Thomas with this. Eight psychic damage. Alrighty. And then against Tempest, it has... Limbs. One limb. Come on, Amazing. Tempest. And yes. completely yes. whiffs. See, we got this. Escalation die goes up to three. Fucker. Real? Really? Really? You gonna just eliminate any more of us? Well, kill Thomas. <laughs> Creel uh, uh, yeah. looks over at the beast that's currently fighting Thomas and says, Well, you were clearly a failure anyway. And lashes out with his mind. Uh, the creature screams, No, Master! And then descends back down into the goo. There. All is good. Tempest! Alright, I'll, I'll take it. Tempest, uh, well... What is it to stuff Leon with a healing potion in his face? That would be a standard action. Uh, you uh, don't no. no, I'm going to smack uh, Thomas Warped Thomas. Beast here. He should, he should die on any hit. I'm going to do a deadly thrust to try okay. and make sure I hit him. <laughs> Alright. Or 1d20, minus 2, because I've got the two recoveries, so that's first, right? Plus 3 Escalation, plus 5 Dexterity, plus... Two strength, plus three level. Plus one oil. Plus one for the oil. Better hit. You're fucking kidding me. That is a miss. That is three points of damage. That is not enough to kill it. I, no, I, I need to get Leon up. No, get Leon up. Anything Leon. else with your turn, Griff? Fucking bring it! <laughs> Leon's turn. Do, do your thing, Leon. I will mark out my rally. There we go. All right. 18 Eight, hit points. 18 hit points. And you are currently prone. I do not care that I'm prone. Just stand up. I will, I will stand up. I almost applied dead. Nope. Wrong stat. Um, <laughs> apply dead. And <laughs> Recovery to death. I told you he was undead. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. That thing's dead regardless of what's coming out of this. Um... So let's let's try and let's try and share out the death slightly. I'm going to try using my frozen fisher daily, which is you know the damage is not as much. But I could potentially hit two people. Do you do? Yes. Both of these will be targeted by it. Okay, got it. Uh, I will do the many many limbs first okay. because I dislike his many many limbs. All right. Uh, plus one. Uh, that seems okay. Thirteen versus his physical defense is probably not enough. No. no, 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 it's not. Okay, and that is twenty-eight versus the other one. Okay, the eighteen is against the amorphous beast, right? Eighteen. The yeah. the the result of a twenty-eight could remind me. Which... Yes, twenty-eight was him. Yes. Okay. So okay. that's so a that hit. that is fifteen points of damage on him. Uh, seven plus five on him. <laughs> Okay, that is enough to finish off the many spontaneous limbs creature. Yeah, even though I missed, I get to add my constitution again to the damage, so... Okay. It is seriously wounded. It remains active. Anything else? Yeah, no. <laughs> Alright. I'm starting to I'm starting to expend my final resources. Is it Thomas, you are no longer oh. engaged. Alrighty, I'm not on the engage. First of all, reaction this because I can do it now. Uh, then I'm going to engage the amorphous one. Okay. Uh, Kill it, please. I would like to use my quick action attack first so I can potentially use my standard action for something else. That will be my quick action melee attack. Okay. That will hit. That is not enough to down it. Okay, then I'm going to use my standard action to attack again. That's a natural one. No miss damage. <laughs> yep, and that's my turn. Okay. Well. 
I just got really real really quick for this amorphous oozing form warp beast. Attacks Tempest. Mm -hmm. 25 versus armor class. Uh, I'm still gonna have it because I ha no, I don't. Cause I no, missed, you so. know you don't. Under you go. There you go. You ser you served yourself well. Dying. Uh, negative well, fourteen. Okay. Dwell hear him. Oh, and, I uh, am going to do my thing and get you. Before you to do that, you also need to take your five psychic damage and roll your two. Oh, six. that's true. That's true. Sorry. Let's do that. Uh, that that'll be the saves. Nope. That'll be the psychic damage. Yes. That's With the success. minus two, that's a success. Okay. Good. So you stop taking the ongoing damage, but you know, you're still having trouble resisting stuff. Okay, because Dual Hiram has not rallied yet this combat, it'll be no trouble for him to do that, I reckon. I'll just get half. You'll just get half, and it'll take you up to zero. And then a and negative one on everything. So you get not that mostly. Hmm. Negative one on everything. Twelve six hit health. points. Hit uh, six point. hit points, excuse me. Six. You're barely standing, your defenses are you know, falling, but you're I like Okay. Right. Uh, you can take your turn. You're oh. currently prone. I will. You know, standing up is probably a good start. All right. And then I guess that one. Yeah. Like. There's there's no need to make an attack roll. He has one hit point. No, I I have no need to make an attack roll. But there's no need to make a damage roll. He had one hit point. Sure. Well, now he's dead. There you go. And I'm almost dead. So. No, we're all almost dead. <laughs> well, welcome to the club of being not almost Leon, dead. Not Leon, he's fine. I have recoveries, but not hit points. Okay. Dimensional slide. Once during its turn, the warped beast can teleport anywhere nearby it can see as a move action. I expected that. No one's engaged with it, so no one is confused. Perhaps it should have used that ability sooner in this combat. No, well... Uh, the creature will now attempt to bite Dwo Hiram. That will be a miss! Which Last will time. provoke a psychic blast against Dwo Hiram and Leon. This is against Dwo Hiram. Eight points of psychic damage. I'm down again. <laughs> and this is against Leon. Eight points of psychic damage. Yep. Escalation die goes to four. Hmm. Nice. Now the odds are in their favor. I, we made the right choice. Tempest. Death save. Roll 1d20. No. That's one failure. Leon. Should we try, should we just try to floor it or should I try and keep myself up? I'll uh, try and floor it, I guess. The thing is... Had 41 damage dealt with it. I don't know how I much of a damage so ho Hopefully, you'll be able to do with your two attacks next turn as well. Hopefully. So we'll move down to engage it. Okay. This will be a Chaos Bulk. It's literally the only spell I have left that's decent damage. Alright. Uh, score. That physical, physical defense, defense just manages to hit. Okay. I was, about, I, was a, I was about to cancel what I was typing. Uh, that is 19 points of elemental damage. All right. Just for sake of doing it. It's freezing, freezing gold damage. And yeah, Leon has nothing. Nothing. All right, creature is heavily wounded. Thomas. Finish right, the let's, mission. Let's do the same thing again. Quick action attack first. Okay. That will miss. All Pre right. And I'm going to do my standard action. Come also on. attack. That That's hits. And with a few hit points to spare, the creature <laughs> is downed. Okay. Good. I'm just I got points. One. I have yeah, not rolled lower weak. than a three on that. Yeah. Anything else? Well done, Creel. We won. Alright. That takes us to Dwo Hiram. Uh, go ahead and make a death save for me, Manakai. Thomas, you got me. 
Uh, I yeah, have to make a save anyway. But yeah, I'd, I'd rather get tempers up at this point. Right. That's just save. Yes, you succeed. You succeed. You go I'll ahead and heal using things you don't have. <laughs> sure, I'll I'll use my. Do I, I guess I have to have to roll now to see if I can. You, uh, in, in this situation, I think uh, we'll just have you uh, go ahead and. I mean, I guess it's not a rest, really. No, it's it's not a rest. It's not a rally. I think you can go ahead and heal and just divide it by two, which would be six, uh, six. and then uh, that ends your turn. And sheep, go ahead and make the saving throw against your minus two penalty to saves. All right, uh, that's yes. a success. success. Okay. Escalation die will go to five. I. Oh. Well. Hmm. Well. Well. The creature sort of like bites down with its uh its uh sharpened teeth on uh, its rubbery skin. Hmm. Let me check something. All right. Combat is over. Now, Thank you. Tempest! That means we could win. <laughs> oh. I'm going to say now to that... Stand up. Do I need to do any death rolls? No. You, you can okay. uh, basically be at barely any hit points. Tempest will just, while he's lying there, just convert into a box that is basically broken and shattered in half. <laughs> yes. And just because now like, Griff can go to bed. Yes, okay, just... <laughs> yes. Uh, the Tempest will just fall, but the box is falling apart. I'll gather all the pieces, all of them. Don't worry, I'll just shout at the box and it'll fix itself. <laughs> Doesn't work that way right now. But... See you again. Oh, it's also Grimith. Oh, damn. That's a dungeon. <laughs> well, you yeah. wanted to do a dungeon. <laughs> we did a dungeon. I regret everything. Oh. We this succeeded, is... so... The, uh... I will pack him into a nice box. Alien uh, leans forward in its seat, saying, Well, that was quite possibly the most interesting experience I have had within this dungeon. Very well, then. You have certainly earned this. The uh, door behind you will slide open, and uh, the creature will uh, slide the orb of storms across the floor. Rolling it. We better check it for now. <laughs> Le Leon, Leon will, Leon will take it, being the only person here who's, you know, still able to decently stand. There must a cape you can rev it in, but beyond that, like, you, yeah, no, he needs to. The uh, the orb is cool to the touch, uh, and uh, does not immediately respond to you picking it up. Don't bind to it, please. <laughs> You know, I have more important things to do than trying to bind to an epic item. Um. There you are, then. You have set out what you accomplished to do, and defeated all presented challenges of the living dungeon of Creel. It is unfortunate I will no longer have the orb, but... I believe what you provided was worth more than the cost. Now, you don't happen to have a quick way out of here. Somewhere hidden. Well, it is against our rules to teleport into or out of the dungeon, but I imagine we can make this exception for you, G. 
just this one. See if you all will gather. The, uh, the aberrant extends an arm, uh, pointed fingers at you. I, well, your words cannot convey how you have made me feel by that display. There are more prizes and treasures to be gained in the living dungeon of Creel, and greater excitement for all those who would venture here. I hope you tell all of your friends and especially your enemies. And uh, with that, a, uh, a searing blast of light will escape and you all die. No, uh, you uh, find the world whitewashed and you are teleported back to the exterior. <sighs> you will be getting a full heal up after that. Good. <laughs> I can tell you. Right. Dragon Hall. <laughs> I'll just be in my bed. Oh yes, my tent. The next battle's over. So you pack the tent up. Shall save the tent. I didn't actually have it saved. Oh, man. And the door before your eyes closes shut. I have a feeling that's not the last time we'll see that man being thing dungeon can we just no, w one thing one good thing came from this we forgot Fargus <laughs> <laughs> he's with you in spirit yeah. he's like a bird in, like hidden in someone's bag you didn't realize that he was <laughs> <laughs> now can we just get on can we I can't even say it can we just get on the damn boat nice. yeah I don't know if I can oh. Just, I just need to lay down. Come, come on, lean on me. I'll carry you down. We could just rest another day here. I mean, it's. I'm so safe. close to dying that my raven is looking hungrily at me. Do you really want to camp outside the dungeon? Oh, let's 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 get on the boat. Yeah, let, let's I just, I mean, You can get on the boat and sail back to Newport, and that can be where the uh, the session is concluded. You have successfully uh, defeated the living dungeon of Creel this session. Uh, and this is the closest the party has come to death. And acquired the Orb of Storms in the process. That's what I'll add that to my character sheet. Orb of Storms! Yeah. Which you will be giving to Lord Taraptus. Probably. <laughs> so you might not want to put that on your character sheet then, unless you're going to. Uh, oh, there you go. No, you can definitely be there. Good. I, we want to be there. Okay. <laughs> you're there in Newport. Do you give the Orb of Storms to Lord Taraptus? Yes. Okay. We bring it to Dragon Hall as an offering for the fall. He is, uh, he is pleased by your acquisition uh, that you were able to find it, that the diviners were uh, correct, and that you were able to obtain it. Not too interested in your experiences. He does remark that the orb is uh, rather dormant, however, and uh, seems to be that uh, whatever's been causing this uh, weather has not been this orb. But still, a valuable acquisition to keep in the hands of the Empire and out of the hands of others. He's, 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 as he gives his speech to, to everyone else who's almost collapsing. Yes. Uh, welcome to level four, by the way. Oh, good. Ow. Oh. I have some leveling up to do. Of course, all of your incremental advances are wiped out, as you have graduated to level four, and all the things that you were getting early, you now have. You know, I'm okay with that. I'll get more hit points. <laughs> I get more hit points. I miss hit points. I get plus one to skills. <laughs> yes. And that was a dungeon session I thought might uh, take multiple ones, but uh, sheer pig-headed player stubbornness yes. pushed you through, and uh, even to whenever you guys had nothing and you were going to be fighting a very hard challenge. We took, we took your challenge and we beat... Well... well you won, yes. No Actually one won. 
We almost died. Yes. We got down to Thomas only, so... Yeah, I mean, I, I know I whine a lot about the Commander class, class occasionally, but it certainly has the power to turn battles around easily. It's it's, it's real, real necessary. You've, uh, you know, the, all of those, like, extra rallies you gave people, they had never used their rallies in that combat, so they didn't have to worry about making a save to rally again. That combined with, like, the heal thing, force-feeding of potions, things worked out. That's that's the useful thing about not having any any uh, recovery. You should never rally. Ignore, ignore the depleting <laughs> statistics. I'll uh, I'll need to take a closer look at the specific rules involving uh, using recoveries whenever you have none, as we had never gotten to that point in a campaign situation before. Uh, just to brush up on that, I'm not entirely sure whether the use of the system to keep driving in the negatives was uh, adequate. I don't know whether you can force someone to rally whenever they can't rally because they have no recoveries. I'll have to read the specific text on that. And uh, Yeah, as it stands right now, it's very, very difficult to actually properly die. That's, yeah. I mean, that's good for us, I guess. I mean, uh, the, moment you, the moment you go down, that changes. I don't know. It, it eliminates uh, some of the uh, threat of the situation that the target can rally as a free action this turn. Uh, makes me think that if they can, they have the option to do so. But uh, if they don't have recoveries, I'm uh, I'm tempted to lean towards no. That being said, the book doesn't specifically prohibit it, and I'll have to consult a bit around the internet and assess my feelings about the situation. And I will uh, I'll decide whether I like it or not. That's basically what it is: whether I like it or not. <laughs> Referee arbitration. Uh, on the pickheadedness, I think that's very much because in many of our fights we rely on potions to keep going. And as such, basically restarting the dungeon, we would have less resources than we began. Sure. Which but you, would you would, would not have just... threatened character death either. Not this time. But when we, when we got to that point again, we probably would have. You know, know after Fockheim, I just really wanted to actually finish something. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> and you could have finished it. He was offering you other, or it was offering you other benefits, except the Orc of Storms. It certainly gave me more of an understanding of what we lost by retreating that first time. I mean, the first time, I suppose we could have taken that snowman potentially but then uh, he wouldn't like that golem battle later on i i think that golem battle was that an actual encounter that we had to do or did we just screw up screw up the puzzle room what are you talking about uh, yeah, in like the, stuff. yeah the the flesh golem yeah what sure. about it that was that was a combat room okay okay there were combat and puzzles and those like Warm yes. sand. Yes, Still there was there was obstacles, there was puzzles, and there were combat rooms. We we, we took a wrong turn there, I'd say. The uh the, the balmy like, one like... would have would have been much less combat intensive. It wasn't I, I even don't... designed with any monsters in mind. I, I don't suppose you want to share what that room would have entailed because I'm really curious now. Well, if only you'd chosen that route. I had this I'll massive 50-by-50 50 50 grid full of rooms you'll never see. I'll break in. <laughs> we'll we'll come us. back tomorrow and... He killed his minion. Explore. Yeah. Sure. If that's what you want to do next session, by all means. Like, we yeah. can raid the dungeon, just keep punching it until it's, like, falling apart. You know, I, I'm a World of Warcraft player. Anything that resets daily, I'm doing. <laughs> daily. Yeah. Yes. By all means, if that's what you would like to do, you are certainly welcome to attempt to do so. I will not. Uh, I will not say no. You won't say. You won't tell us. Maybe about all the dead people we can loot. Oh, mostly, I was inclined to say we should go back because Fargus was looking forward to dungeon call a whole lot. <laughs> uh, that's what you get when you decide what we should do and then not show up for the session. And that was a bit unfortunate because, well, if we don't do this thing again, I guess the next stop would be Dragon Hall. Yeah. Which is exactly what he didn't really like. So. Oh well. Yeah. yeah. There's this. There's the. 
There, there's it's... the Iron Sea, and there's Foghaven, and there's uh, Newport. No. There's Dragonhall. <laughs> How can we resist Dragonhall, though? You've seen, you've seen the way we do things. <laughs> I've seen the way it's adventurers a, do things. By the just, skin of the teeth, right? Just go to Dragonhall and evoke a false level. We'll be in like a really bad position, and it'll be great. And then we'll leave. It'll be terrible, and we'll lose, and we'll make things worse. But, but it'll be glorious, doing so. And eventually, we'll leave and regret that we ever got involved. Mm -hmm. Go back to Farkhaven. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Yes, uh, level four. You uh, you uh, did uh, have to take a dungeon reset once, but uh, overall, you managed to accomplish things. Yeah, this dungeon was was very interesting. I very much liked it. Good variety, different different things in every room. Many different paths to take. Not railroady as dungeons generally can be. I would generally not mind doing more of these. Well, if only I cared to design more of those. <laughs> it's a good thing yeah. that uh, the good thing that half the content was unexplored. I can just recycle it and put it in a <laughs> make that a dungeon. You know, yes, you can. <laughs> I don't think we would mind. I'd imagine in the long run it might get difficult over time to find new challenges that are as like creative as the ones we face. Well, apart from the combat one, I guess that's easy. But you know, I don't know. You have to consider that one of them was a hole with spikes in it. Yes, one of it's them was a incredibly like, long hole with spikes. That that's not particularly creative or new, and yet it's still challenging. And that's true. Yeah. The other things, I think you can make many like, a, like a, a hole with like swinging iron balls. Different challenge, like same concept. Like, you guys tackled the puzzle room twice. Then you went into an obstacle room, the scorching sands. You went into another obstacle room because that's where that straight led to the pin. You went into a. Do you have any religious backgrounds and succeed on this skill check room? Yes. And then you had a deviation between thy flesh consumed, which sounds pretty combat to me, or mm -hmm. balmy stretch, take a break in the shade, which sounded too suspicious. <laughs> I mean, it, it sounded it, it, like, oh, relax, just chill out. Like, nope, nope, you're not gonna. It, sound, it, it, it sounded too good. Your, it's okay, you're breaking the door. Like, ah. it, it sounded too good to be true. <laughs> If not for the, you can break the door to get out. I'd be like, well, you know, but... It implies that you have to break the yeah, door yeah, to yeah, get yeah, out. Yeah, you might want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, players are certainly welcome to interpret situations however they like, and I very much enjoyed hearing you interpret these situations however you wanted. Yeah, yeah. They were very much more honest than I expected, really. So, look up. It's warm sand. Nothing metaphorical about that. It says warm sand. Uh, that was a really screws over. Okay, you know, all things considered, I, I like this polite dungeon. I would not look forward to like the mischievous dungeon or the cunning dungeon or the, the, the like, like hateful evil dungeon. murder dungeon that just wants to kill you as fast as possible. Yeah, that might be a really bad time. Where you end up like sitting there like shirtless with a great sword pressing it into the t it's, it's bleeding hard multiple times you just scream wildly in frustration yeah. hmm. polite dungeon it's an interesting idea it certainly gives a good perspective of what a living dungeon can be it's basically a tutorial I don't know that, that's what it felt like a bit it's like here, here are these different challenges that was the living dungeon that's not a tutorial that was a living dungeon yeah, it it, it was felt a bit like like a like a tutorial though. Well, a tutorial that time... nearly fucking killed all of you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was. I don't think it's in terms well, of difficulty, just in terms of if the way the dungeon acted. Yeah. Well, like, hello, I'm a dungeon. Let me explain what that means to you. Yeah, exactly. Now, please come into my rooms and explore. Have a good time, please. Like, all right, yeah, yeah I can that, do that. that. That was the motivation of the living dungeon. Every living dungeon has a motivation. It's a good, good motivation for it. Does many, so many questions though. So why are they here? What do they do? If, if only you taken aberrant? the time to like really like focus and answer and try to learn out more details, but now you're gone. 
And according to Creel, you're not allowed back in. No. No, I don't think we want to go back in ever. Maybe if we were really nice, he'd let us take a look at the rest of it. We could even stay here and like kill adventurers for him a little while. He, he doesn't want to take employee employees. <laughs> we could become janitors. <laughs> Spend a, a, spend a few sessions with the adventure plot arc of the <laughs> janitors of the living dungeon of Creel. Oh no, the broom's broken. Where do we get a new one in time for the big ball? Oh, not in the rusty pit again. No. <laughs> yes, yeah, gotta climb down there and clean the spikes. Huh. I did expect you folks to uh, tackle the puzzle room on the first floor. I definitely expected that to transpire. They're going to look at obstacles, and Manakai's going to laugh. They're going to look at combat, and like, ah, <laughs> me. You know, puzzle sounds nice, resource non-intensive. <laughs> you say that, Just and then... Expe Excel spreadsheet intensive. Yes, there was a price of failure attached to it. And, oh. uh, if, you know, <laughs> if you had gotten the first riddle incorrect... You would have been trapped in there for a little bit before your escape swung open, unless you chose to teleport. I, I do have to say, I, I'm, I wasn't too fond of the second riddle, because it was basically... What's the word? You had to pay attention to the wording, which is difficult if you haven't mastered the language completely. Uh, if, if, only, if only the <sighs> living dungeon cared about your lack of mastery. <laughs> Well, the, I, I'm assuming the dungeon doesn't care about the, like, supernatural force controlling the character, but, you know. Uh, Maybe the dungeon knows about that. And, and, and you know... The living dungeon is here because of because their supernatural powers controlling and, adventurers. You know, and, you know, the guy who like, made like the dungeon, dungeon master, me, is like, you know, if he doesn't like it, they can always walk out and choose a different path. But fuck that shit. That shit's for the birds. It's like a, like old school choose your own adventure kind of. Yes, I allow you to choose Creel. your own adventure. Yeah. I mean, that that's allowing us to choose to choose and then calling it a campaign loss, which j just sounds so final and bad because it I is. Mean, it was a campaign loss because we lost the ability to get the orb of storms without having a like a final. Yeah. You know that that's what we lost. From, we found out later, you know, and that seemed fair. Yes, if you had managed to make it through first try, uh, you would not have had to uh, fight that at all. Creole would have been like, "Where the fuck you go?" <laughs> now, if you want, you. if you want more, then you can fight the battle. <laughs> That's what that Wait, was. Wait, there was be. more. <laughs> yes, oh, man. you could you could have gotten yeah. all of the benefits he would have given you, plus the orb of storms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all things considered, I think it was very well done, though, and very enjoyable. We got what we wanted. Had a good time. I, I a really good time. I I definitely enjoyed this. I definitely enjoyed the obstacle bits the most because it encourages that very much. You know, dice rolls were very swingy. We had uh, quite a number of high so rolls. High from... skill rolls, especially in battle, you feel the high rolls. Yeah. Uh... Though, in the ob though in the obstacles, we definitely felt them as well. Yeah, those obstacles could have been brutal if not if not for all those like fifteen. We, we had to have just 15s. I, I rolled at least two or three 20s during that. And uh, the obstacles were designed. I had a number of ideas in mind for how you could fix them. Dwohirum having a ritual ray of frost, that was one of the ideas I had. Like, you can do this, make some fucking snowshoes, basically. Ice boots and walk through it and fine. Yeah, I, I thought about that. Like, I have my frozen fish. I could have used, I could have used that to get across. Huh. Also, Grimoth, in the downtime, I would like to scour Newport for fireproof boots. <laughs> well, uh, question would then have being, and this is something you'll have to decide with the rest of the group, how long do you want to be in Newport before you strike out for Dragon Hall? Probably de I mean, we probably want to prepare pretty well. You know, if there's anything, you know, I'm going to need more rope. I would say, like, half a week, a week, somewhere around that time. Yeah, I mean, at least, yeah. Relax for a week. A week, probably. I mean, I, I hear him kind of needs a little bit of time to not look like a, spend like a, week a pin cushion. You know, you know, I'm going to have to spend like a week rebuilding the dam. He was like warped one. and impaled and like sliced and yes, burned. And then a focused soul blast from Creo. Yeah, he was just mentally ripped yeah. apart. That so. was, uh, that was, that was uh, triggered as well. Should 
you know, the wizard fucking nuke all of these people, Creel's gonna be like, well, that's not fair. <laughs> it's what I do, though. I saved yes. it for you. <laughs> I saved it for all this time. And uh, those... Our entire reason for going into that combat was the fact that we knew that Hiram could do that. <laughs> yes, I'm aware of where that was your motivation. I need high level spells though. They're beginning to not one shot things. It's terrible. And uh and uh and uh he didn't directly participate, but I had planned out if he saw that, it was gonna be like, Well that's not fair at all. Look at them. Boo! I clearly made this too easy. <laughs> then he felt guilty, it felt guilty. And did like four damage to one of its. It, it had one hit point left. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it saved us an attack. Yes, so. it saved a, an action that Thomas did not have to spend on it. And we won. And that was really the best outcome at that point. <laughs> really? Winning victory is the best outcome. Like if we tried like like we, we, we had, like done outcome. three sessions, like tried like eight times to play this dungeon, he'd be like very impressive. <laughs> no, get out. I'm not getting anything here. Still would have been the same offer. Still would have uh, offered you the Orb of Storms if you uh, either uh, attempted that fight there or uh, went through the impossible gauntlet. I wonder what that was. I mean, it's a gauntlet, with, like a gate thing. So probably like a fortified something. Probably, probably not exactly what you're referring to. A gauntlet can just mean a series like of trials. Like a hole the size of a gauntlet in the wall. Go no, it, it. it can just mean a series of trials. And I did have a metagame note by uh, that, that if you chose that door, uh, it, that, that room could kill you. But never went to that part of the dungeon. I just imagine us going there, like, metagame, like, this room can kill you. We're like, should we go in there? Yes, <laughs> yes, that was, the, that was actually part of the idea. Like, think of the... The prizes that could be involved. Do we, do we open that door? I mean, hmm. and there were certainly prizes to gain. I take your prizes and display. I got a ring. I have it for my ring. That's a really cool ring. Mm-hmm. Really into that ring. Oh, I stopped. Oh, I've, I've already finished making changes, so I might as well update my token now. But you know why I got it? Because I'm better than all of you. That's why. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I shall remember that slight. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Now it's here, here who is better than the others. Yes. I will still remember that slight. Okay. Nuking yourself down there with a one. <laughs> Which is an impressive way of doing it. You know, I thought about oh, that whole thing. I thought about, I thought about ritualizing my teleport shield to try to project the others over there. But then I was like, then how am I going to get over there? <laughs> no one's going to be there to help me. I didn't teleport myself. I'm going to teleport other people. Mm. Yeah, I didn't really get much value out of that spell. Not that. I prepare something else next time. Well, I prepare utility. Just because well, now some, I am. So, like, someone did hit you in melee once at some point. Most get... of my damage was from like spikes and falling and. Bumbling around as dwarves do. Yeah. But you were definitely attacked in melee, so you could have used the teleport yeah. shield. I think it's a standard action to do, though. Yeah. Well, it's like a buff kind of thing. Yeah, you would have, say, cast it before a combat you knew you were entering. I, I always saw it as more like you have to cast it in the combat. Well, no? Let me take a look at it. Because it doesn't say anything about like a duration out of combat. It said for, for the rest of the battle, which would mean that you would have to be in a battle. Yeah, okay. yeah, I would agree with that. Needed to look at the. Exact if it was language. until the end of next battle, I'd have that thing all the time. <laughs> well, not all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, sad! You can't teleport people into let magma pits and <laughs> midair. No oh, cheesy tricks. No cheese. Level 4 for everyone. Incremental advances are reset. And Manakai, Dark. Yes, we'll have to make Th all the decisions. Things will be happening to you folks at the start of next session. Oh god. Yes. Uh, also, should we, we already roll know our what? relationship die? Uh, I can 
you, you can go ahead and roll for you three. I'll roll for uh, Griff. You can have a five of the priestess. Hmm. Let's see here. Nothing. One, a six with the average. All right. And I continue to edit my token as I look at all the changes. I'm okay with that. I like six. The best Ooh. one. All right. So that's two fives. I'll take it. And then, uh, where's, where did I put Fargus? Did I delete all? I didn't delete every copy there's one of, of there's one of, there's, there's one of them on the Newport map. There we go. That's it's right. been so brooding this session. That's where I'm editing my token. So a five with the High Druid, a five with the Archmage, a six with the Archmage, and a five with the Priestess. All right. I'll take it. That's a lot of fives. I think this might be the first session where I got nothing. It's not often that you've gotten nothing. You often get like two and uh, all the people. Come in. Feed me more command points. All the command points. Those command points really do help though. More than you'd think for that extra one. Yeah, the, the bonus command points I, I get, they just help so much in the first round because I actually have, well, three usually or two. Which means I can do like rerolls and all that stuff. The bigger, the bigger stuff. Okay, that becomes my new daily. That means that becomes my new. Yes, uh, I'll uh, I'll take a uh, I'll take a look at uh, the recoveries thing because I'm not entirely sure how uh, all that should be handled. We'll see whether Rob Heinz or Jonathan Tweed have anything more to write about it that's not in the book. I'm perplexed oh. by the idea of allowing to dip into negative recoveries and rallying with them. Otherwise, what's the hell is the point of managing that resource? It's like a healing surge thing. That's that. Uh, it's bothering me. The negative recoveries? Yeah, going into you negative recoveries. You basically eat up your stats, right? Yeah, but that's not any sort of. I I don't like the it because it's so, it's so non consequential essentially. Like, so what if you keep going down? You can just keep going back up. Even if you keep getting hit, you can just keep going back down. People don't want to focus on taking you down until you die, usually. So, whoop, I have minus eight to my armor class and all of my attack rolls, but it's okay. There's a, uh... It just, it derails the resource management, in my opinion. Dipping into uh, recoveries like that. Anyway... We might as well go ahead and handle this right here. Uh, might as well take care of this. Uh, do you two mind if Sheep is around for this? You might go to bed, because I figure I should take care of this while you two are still connected to the server. Uh, if you don't want me around, I'll, I'd you be happy to just go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't mind. I mean, it's, it's fine. And Sheep, there was an event. We had fun together, I guess. Yes, I'll see you at some point. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Dark Manakai. Those bonus plus twos you've got are removed yes. and they are replaced by minus twos. Yes. This That's is an expected. this is an indefinite. In addition, I am going to want each of you uh, and we'll start with Manakai, and this will of course impact this will be uh, you just reaching level four. You're going to have to make a None of your backgrounds will apply on this. A constitution modifier check with your level, which will be four. And then an intelligence modifier check using your new intelligence modifier with level. This is both physical and mental. And I want you to make two skill checks using constitution plus level and then intelligence modifier plus level. That's the same rules for me then. Yes. All right, here we go with the physical one okay. and the mental one. Those are both failures. Dwohirum is, uh, is suffering both a physical and mental withdrawal from uh, what he consumed. Until the next full heal-up, when you'll be permitted rolls again, you have a minus two penalty to your physical defense and your mental defense. And, uh, yes, your intelligence has been curbed down to be, uh, minus two. Dark, you're a bit different. As mm -hmm. it turns out, your body has some familiarity with this substance. 
Huh. En enough so that uh, you uh, have a choice in this matter. Of course, your constitution is... You lose the bonus and you have a minus two penalty to it uh, until indicated otherwise. You'll be making those same rolls, a constitution modifier, but... And an intelligence modifier one, but... You get to choose which one of those rolls gets a plus five and which one of them gets a negative five. And you factor that in before you make the rolls. Oh. Your one unique thing has made it so that this liquid is not new for you. And you have some control over how it affects your body. Leon has consumed this before, even if he can't remember. And as such, you can gain plus five to either your constitution modifier plus level roll, or plus five to your intelligence modifier plus level roll. But the other one's getting a minus five, and you have to use the bonus and penalty. Okay. Okay. Uh... Right. Um, this will be... For my physical defense. Okay. No. All right. Mental. Okay. Uh, that is sufficient to uh, successfully pass the skill check. Uh, Leon is not uh, suffering from mental withdrawal, and this is sensible for him because of what it boosted. He is suffering from physical withdrawal, and he will have a minus two to his physical defense until the next full heal up when I will make you folks make rolls again. Uh, Dark will only have to, you'll only have to roll for your uh, your physical one. Manakai will have to roll for both. You've, okay. uh, you've escaped any mental withdrawal effects. Both of you will be dreaming heavily of Ursilia Melkor's face, and both of you will see three words which seem almost to be etched onto your eyeballs whenever you sleep. Submit and obey. Uh. <sighs> Any questions? Comments? Well, maybe we, I should want a class. <laughs> we discussed with the other day, like, it, like, are we going to get, like, what's exactly going to happen for the withdrawal symptoms when we worked out that each other had both done it? And it's like, huh. huh. Yes. I, uh, I, I guess that the minus two to ability score thing was a, was a thing, certainly. And probably also withdrawal symptoms of some sort. But. Yes. Uh, the consequences for this were determined whenever you first saw the liquid. Uh, and should anyone have consumed it, it was going to be that rush of that plus two bonus that you folks got to enjoy for this entire level. Uh -huh. It's been a long one, followed by the crash. Which also, that's had a huge modifier on my hit points. Ooh. <laughs> oh, down, down of the hit point ship. Because <laughs> <laughs> that caused I modify constitution crits damage for me, so it's like, oh no. Yes. <laughs> Uh, that puts me back basically my hit points are unchanged from from last level uh, because I've gained the extra I've gained the extra multiplier but then I've just lost four constitution <laughs> so the weird thing is that the best multi-class option would be ranger sort of stat wise For me, Ranger was the only one I could actually re actually do reasonably. I mean, I could take one that uses Con, but there's just nothing that does that. No, nothing that does that. No Witch Doctor thing here. Yeah. I mean, very little uses Con, so... Mm -hmm. The Cleric is just cool, but, but the stat, my starting stat line has made that a problem. I, yeah, in my case, I never considered I was going to be doing this. And I will say that uh, among the benefits that Creo would have provided, it would have been a plus one to any attribute of your choice. Yeah. That would have that, solved that problem, I suppose. That, that, that would have, uh, basically, you would have forfeited the Orb of Storms, or if you went through the Impossible Gauntlet, 
and did like the challenge, you could have gotten the Orb of Storms plus that. But uh, no one was interested in inquiring about his rewards. There was also oh. money, some magical items. You know, we were on a mission, we finished it. Yeah, you certainly did complete your mission. For the Ark Mage. Yes. There we go. Take that into account. And, uh... Other than Manakai weren't overly tempted by the uh, gold piece offer from the Lich King relationship die roll. No. I had thought with Asthma Man not here, you guys could uh, make some more bad choices. You know, bad choices are the fun ones. <laughs> Obviously, why we gulp this crap? <laughs> exactly. You know, maybe Hiram can recognize some of the traits of what he's feeling in Leon. So maybe I'm not feeling mental fatigue, but the physical one, yes. Yeah. Like the the constant stammering, the the whispering of Cecilia when he sleeps. You know. <laughs> no, it's submit and obey. You know it, yes, yeah. the, the subconscious muttering of submit and obey. Uh, now I need to lower that because that's only plus three on a miss, and that's. It's uh, not a command to me. It's a word to be inspired by. Words I should make. Words I should say to others. Don't make me slay you. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's not to say that this is impossible to uh, recover from. Just that you folks made this decision and. It came with strings attached, because of course it came with strings attached. Nothing is free. They always do. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, Which is why I still love your motherfucker, Manakai, that I read later during that night. Is that is that after we got told? Yep. That, that, that was after <laughs> Rav, and then he said motherfucker twice. I didn't read it until, like, hours later, and I'm like, wait, what's this of... Ah! <laughs> Uh, so that is now 1d4. Nearby enemies in a group. Yeah, this. this is certainly changing things. I mean, really, the same multi class option as, as you have taken, Dark, really is pretty good. The ranger with the heal ability. I mean, there was a reason. The other, you know, I took it for numerous reasons. One of which was it was a decent one, and it was one of the ones that worked for me. Yeah, it certainly is good. The dexterity thing works. You can be well. ranger buddies. Because basically, when I had dex and charisma, it was the only one of the only options that would work. I could also be a rogue or monk, but those two are not well suited at all. This would give needed defenses, especially now. <laughs> Better recoveries. And the ability to heal still. And it would also not, right now, at least, hamper me, you know, stat-wise, in, in a particular way. That's, so what do you think, 18 ongoing poison damage? That's not bad, is it? No, that's pretty good. Uh, po poison. Oh, did I, spell, <laughs> did, I, did I misspell? Let me fix that. Zion. Uh, Zion. Sleepy. Yes, Zion. Uh, this session went way longer than I thought it would. Of course it did. Yeah, we did push through the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, I gave you folks like, do we can fucking stop? <laughs> never. I guess not. I was afraid we would just leave and never do it again. Well, as uh, Sheep said, he wanted to actually feel like he won something. <laughs> I don't know if we won it. I wouldn't really say we won. I'd say we completed it. You completed it. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't really a particular victory. You know? the, yeah, the, dun the dungeon is still alive. You you found the Orb of Storms. We went in for what we wanted. We came out with it. But we didn't sort of... I mean, I got a nice ring. I mean, I have a habit for my ring, actually. And, and I guess I shouldn't complain. The decisions you made weren't the worst ones. Uh, I mean, oh. if you folks had chosen, like, if you had waited for long enough, there would have been other adventurers who arrived. Okay. So, 
by uh, pressing on, you know, despite the fact that you did take a campaign loss, you know, not taking any others and having to constantly redo things, you ensure that you acquire the Orb of Storms. Because I did plan on installing elements uh, later on. And, and uh, although I'll say that, uh, well, according to the battle builder for 13th Age, those fights you got into, not even remotely balanced to be anywhere near your levels at all. I found a comfortable fit there. I like that. They were really fucking hard. <laughs> and again, I had to spend half my resources in getting through obstacles, so... There, save ends. And you, uh, may have burned through more, you may have burned through less. You may have actually not seen the worst path. <laughs> well, there's that, like, impossible gauntlet. Yes, there was see, impossible so. gauntlet. You know, maybe, maybe that's good. Maybe it's good, but we wouldn't have done well if we got in there. And then... Hmm. Okay, so now I'll just make final changes to my spells, which is I have... Strongbolt level 3, I have Echoing Thunder, which is going to be my new at willpower. Sorry, Chaos. I like you and all, but no. You'll have to uh, let me know what your decision is, Manakai, whether it's like flipping to Wizard Familiar and leaving Cantrip Mastery behind, or what you're going to do with the situation. Right now I'm thinking Ranger. Okay. The, the, the whole addiction thing really tipped it in that direction. You need to be physically stronger. Yeah. Well, like I'm, 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 I'm like falling over all the time, and uh, and having more healing uh, would certainly not be a bad idea. And also, kind of fits into the whole aspect. I also have a wilderness background, so that would also be okay. Yeah. Uh, I noted before to you that because you had like you know past experience with draw here and that as a prospector, I think that'd be fitting. Yeah. He hasn't really done a lot of magical art studies right now. No. Of course, I could just continue purely with wizard. Which is, you, uh, you could. It certainly does have powers. It has its draws. It does. It has been expressed that I have been dominating things a little bit too much. So. <clears throat> this way I can certainly also keep the power level, you know, a level lower than... Than expected. Yeah, yes, yeah. The, the battle's scaled to be that fucking difficult because, in part, I know what resources, you know, the sorcerer and the wizard have, so I'm like, okay. We have some nukes at our disposal. If, if I have to worry about possibly every enemy on this battlefield taking 70 points of damage to the face, then I'm gonna do something. Otherwise, they're not gonna have fun. It was a reasonable concern. Yeah. Here, uh, must begin to train with Leon. You you come out in the morning when Leon Leon's tra training training with his sword and just like. And he probably won't use a sword. Like, let's not get hasty here. No, the, the, <laughs> the point the point is that would be. You know, yeah, I could, I suppose. No, okay. You just wax one around the head of your staff. It's fine. Yeah, that's probably how it's going to be. So that's my level 3, that's level 3, that would be level 3, which is fine. I'll organize this in the quick way. So those are level 3s, those are not level 3s. Uh, I did pull the bird riddle out from a uh, what another section of the dungeon had been. I, uh, I did have like some backup riddles because I had backup riddle areas. I was like, I don't want to give them the same one again, because I plan not to give you the same one again if you retried the room. like. I'll just fucking do this. And if you had backed out of that and tried to do it again, I would have put a, this room is closed for maintenance. I had like a maintenance sign and everything. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I didn't, I didn't have that many riddles prepared or logic. The, the thing with the, the burden, like the, the, the house ones and yeah. such, is that, is that they are, all they really take is time. Yes. Like it's a it's a solvable puzzle by by pretty much anyone because there's a there's a logic to it. So I mean, as long as you assume can, there is so a, as long as you assume can there is a correct one. Yeah. 
I mean, my piece, I look, paper or whatever. I mean, I, really. I look at those, and those are the kind of things though that would take. I would, I could sit there spending hours trying to work out. Okay. Work like, out. I, I don't enjoy those that much myself, but I look at the group composition and I go, well, if they want to tackle the puzzle room, then by all means. I mean, it, de it definitely seemed a lot of people seem to have enjoyed that, even if it wasn't my exact, you know, kind of puzzle. I like, you know, that's fine. Everyone has their own kind that you enjoy. <laughs> I was amused. I'm like, this is the best thing ever. Make the players do all this fucking heavy lifting and sit back and run my air conditioner. This is great. Did, I, I did air yeah. conditioner enjoy it? I Dark, enjoyed it. Dark, I think the trick with them is that, that you might sort of, if you want to solve them a little easier, is to start by counting up what, what category has the most knowns. Uh, because, you know, at first I was like, oh, I'll just count up by race, but I actually only knew, like, that there was a human in the red house. That didn't really help me at anything. But I, then I began counting up by, by house color instead. So what you start with is, is pretty important. My point is I, I, I just personally struggle in my head to try wrapping my head around all the conditions at once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to keep track of, like, why is that like that? Why does that work? And I am uh, I am glad in part that you folks did explore the obstacles, at least some of them. I, uh, I had concerns that uh, you folks wouldn't flex your creativity and shy away from it and try to brute force your way through combat or something. Uh, I had hoped, whenever the Scorching Sands room came up in the pit, to see actions from you folks with whatever you had. Like the Ray of Frost ritual, that is something that I thought of, like... That is a great use for the spell. Yeah, I, 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 I sat there just looking at my character sheet, just like, so what do I have to tackle this situation? I bought clothes! And I, I liked the idea of using mending to make a ladder. Manakai just rolled a one on the skill yeah. <laughs> What was it? What I gotta do has to be magic. So yep. Yeah, it's true. Works for me. I do. I liked it. Can, can I freely buy more clothes and rope? <laughs> I mean, it's not free, but you could buy some more rope if you'd like. Yes, I will be buying rope and clothing. Because I'll show you, I lost some. By well, page 57, I'm coming back to you. You didn't exactly get. I think you guys actually made up with a net loss here for 200 gold mm -hmm. pieces per person. Yeah, we did. Yeah, certainly did. Yeah, we served the Empire in the Archmage. That's right. You uh, ensured that Lord Taraptus had the Orb of Storms. You taken the Lich King offer, though. I was tempted. <laughs> that, you know? <laughs> I was tempted, but no. Would you have been more tempted if it's 2,000 gold to you directly? To sneak it away from the others? I, I you... I would you know, not I did, have designed I did say a situation it. like that. I did say, no. I did say triple it. I would, I, I would do it. So, so there is a price. There, there is a, a very, price. very high one. Yes, it'd be you know, it takes a lot to it would, but you could. Two thousand gold pieces is fucking enough the way it is. Fucking like three thousand, Jesus. <laughs> you know, I'm asking a high price for a reason. My time is worth a lot. Also, also, I'm getting, also, I'm getting a hundred foot of rope now. I need more rope. All right. See, see, the reason I don't really like that I'm looking at cleric, like, eh, because there are many powers that I don't really care about. I care about the healing powers, but that's only a fraction of what the cleric does. And I'm like, I would never really use these or want to use them much. Yes, the cleric in 13th Age is themed to fight in melee uh, while having spells as a supplemental feature. Even if you picked Cleric, you wouldn't be fighting in melee. No. I mean, even if you pick a Ranger, I wouldn't be fighting in melee. I think a Ranger is a melee thing, or, or like arrow thing as well. It can be melee or ranged. I'm looking at the incremental advances right now, and it's like, icon relationship point. Huh. And you said you would allow me to when I if I multi class to remove like repick the class bonus. Yes, you can repick the class bonus. All right. I don't see any problem with that. As you focus your training elsewhere. Now the recovery thing, ah, it's eating away at me. I'm gonna have to really look into that. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna have to think a little before I level up, but I I might go ranger, and I probably will also pick that uh, that same trait or ranger. same ability. Yeah. Ranger X Cathedral. Right, yeah. Same talent. With the idea that it's the uh, that it's the ability to remake living beings, living flesh. Let's see, a ranger at that level, yeah, well, I get nothing special. No. There's also the ability to get more talents at some point. How does that work? Uh, you would get those talents at one level higher than a ranger would normally. So instead of five and eight, it would be level six and nine. But you would, too, get those extra ranger talents. Mm -hmm. Right. So suddenly we have pets. Well, but you don't have to take pet. You can take something else. <laughs> I know. Uh, double melee attack. Smack him on my face with my, my, my stuff. My beard is a weapon, bitch. I have considered... Oh, for probably the Fey Queen's enchantment. That'd be an interesting a one. Daily or recharge spell if you level a lower from the sorcerer class. Ah. Oh. Well, you can't kill the power. You no. choose the spell. You can do well. Choose which ability score you want to use the attack with sorcerer spells to. Yes. With the caveat that, of course, if it's uh, intelligence or dexterity, it's... The it's intelligence modifier. dexterity, yeah. Yes. But when I, if I can change my thing, I'm probably going to change it. You know, I could, of course, change it away from intelligence. You could. This is what I would have done. Like, uh, the, the problem with cleric is that I would be using wisdom for that one, and I already have my like racial bonus in wisdom, so I couldn't add that on top of it. Right. So I couldn't even those out, but dexterity. Yes, you've, can, you've, like, uh, no. you've you've sobbed last week over like the the small like difference in wisdom. I don't know if it would though, because I have that minus two. I don't know how long that's going to be sticking around. And this way, I basically go to three anyway. Yeah, probably might even just let it stay intelligence. Maybe. If there's nothing else for me, I'm going to ride off into the air condition tonight. I'm going to take. I'm going to take a save of my of my new updated token. Yes, do that. I'm not gonna update anything yet. I'm just gonna go I, I've, I've already done the updates. I'm now just considering like, what, what, what am I going to take as my range of things that ever come true? <laughs> Yeah. My yeah. raven turns really big. 57 hit points, huh? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> it, it, it was going to be 63, but yes. then it dropped. <laughs> you know, on the bright side, I get more recovery. 48 plus 3. Yes, you definitely do have more recovery. Isn't that right? Okay, if you have uh, anything else, of course, that you wish to discuss with me or with the group, go ahead and leave it in the group chat or uh, shoot me a message. Uh, you'll have to decide how long you folks uh, want to stay in Newport before you head out for possibly Dragon Hall, but I guess you could go back to the living dungeon of Creel as well. You might have been lied to, or you might want to, like, I want more prizes! Give me more prizes! Alternatively, to get rid of the addiction. <laughs> I mean, I think it's just something you're going to have to power through. Although, I might look into someone who can, like, help me alleviate some of these horrible things. You're welcome to pursue whatever you would like to do, but I certainly didn't see you looking for help when you had the plus two. <laughs> oh. Crazy alchemist person, could you do something? And he's like, yes, I can make you hard into gold. I mean, that would be <laughs> terrible. Well, I mean, I guess that would get rid of it. It would kill me. I mean, you know, I would die, so... I guess that solves it. No, not really. Go and eat my belated taco supper that I planned on having. And seeing little tear rolls down my cheek. Mm -hmm. Talk to you folks later. <laughs>